All right, here we go, guys. We're back in part six of our uh, flyer assignment. Now, this is going to be the final part. So this is going to be a little bit longer, maybe. Maybe not. Uh, so right now, I've got it in our preview mode. I'm going to hit W on my screen to get out of that. Okay. Uh, you'll notice that I have still one layer, uh, and that's fine. What I want to do is I want to come in and add a new layer, and I want to click and drag that layer under the first one. Okay. Come on now. So I got it under the first one after a little bit of challenge. Uh, this is going to be our background layer. So with layer two selected, what we want to do is insert our rectangle tool. And we're just going to take and drag a big rectangle over all of it. Okay. And then we're going to go into editing our color. Okay. So we're going to come over here to color. Uh, and you're going to, you're going to want to make sure you're in CMYK. And we are going to double click the fill right here in the color and then we want to make just a grayish color appear so if you click in the upper right corner with your colors it's going to be about right here and you want to go into this slider and bring it up and we're in just a light a light light gray a light the lightest gray we can find we don't want it to be white you just want it to be like a light gray. Click OK. And so you'll notice that that changes it from gray or white to uh, light gray. So you can see the difference. All right. If I hit W on the keyboard, you can see the preview. That's how it was. That's how it will be. Okay. So just giving a little bit more professional looking pop. Uh, and then the next to last thing that we're going to do here is we're going to edit some of these pictures down here at the bottom. We just want to turn this picture so it's like this we want to turn this one so it's like this we want to turn this one so it's like this okay and then I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to click each one of them so we can edit their frame at the same time and I want to make our our stroke on these white so they look like they are photographs from a Polaroid similar to a Polaroid all right and then the last the very last thing I'm going to do is on my layers panel I'm going to make sure I'm in layer two okay I'm going to use the pen tool and I'm going to draw a shape out. Okay, so I want my stroke color to be none and I want my fill color to be this yellow. And I'm just going to draw a shape right here that looks like some waves right behind these. And I'm going to come all the way out to the bottom and then I'm going to loop it around. Okay, so what I've got now is I've got a finished flyer. And if I hit W to preview this, uh, this is what it looks like. So if we get down in here, you can see we got the free Wi-Fi. It's a lunch special. Here's some images of our cafe. All right, and they're kind of scattered among there. And you can see that now I've got this little interesting design back here in the background, okay? So once you're done with that, you're going to click File. You're going to click Save As so that you can make sure that you have the last one saved properly in case something happens. File, this is number six, okay? And then what you want to do is we want to go to File, and we want to go to Export. So this is going to be your final turn in project. So we're going to go to, we're going to make the name flyer underscore final underscore last name. Okay. So then uh, make sure that your format is Adobe PDF print and we're going to click save. Okay. Then you're going to get this high quality print box, your export for Adobe PDF. Uh, make sure that it's high quality. All these settings are good to go for right now. Click export. Okay. And now when you export that, you're going to be good to go. You can turn that in on Canvas, and you'll be ready to finish your first assignment. Way to go, guys.